Okay, in this video I'm going to show you the difference between average velocity and average speed. Okay, so uh, average velocity is the change in displacement over the change in time and average speed is the change in distance over the change in time. Okay, this, the formulas are the same, if you notice, they're the same exact formulas. The only difference is the definition and how you apply them to a problem. So for example, a displacement is the distance between two points, but it's not just that, it's also displacement is the shortest distance between two points. So for example, if I have one point here, and one point here, uh, the displacement is the shortest distance between two, these two points, which would be a line. Now, in real life, uh, let's say you're driving down the street. Sometimes you have trees in the ways and you have roads, right? So if I want to get from this point to this point, I have to travel uh, around the tree and then onto that point. So the distance would actually be all of this. This is the distance. And this here is the displacement. So the displacement is the shortest distance between two points. You have to be careful how you use these uh, definitions because if you notice, the formulas are exactly the same. Okay. For average velocity, I use a vector here at the top to represent that it is velocity. And when it comes to speed, I use the absolute values to indicate that we only want the magnitude and not the direction. So um, I don't want to confuse you. I want to just go ahead and start doing one problem so you can see how these definitions apply. Okay, so the problem says a runner covers one lap of a circular track that's 40 meters in diameter and 63.7 seconds. Okay, so here I drew a circle and I drew myself at the top right here and I'm going to run around this circle okay so I'm running around the circle and the first thing that I notice is that the circular has a the circle has a diameter of 40 meters okay so I am going to draw the diameter this is the diameter of the circle it's 40 meters Okay, that's the first piece of information. And the second piece of information is that I run one lap in 63.7 seconds. Okay, so let's use, uh, well, let's read what the questions are. The first question says, what was her average speed? Well, in this case, um, I'm the one that's running, so it should be his average speed. But anyway, pretend this is a girl. Okay, let me put some long hair here. There you go. Okay, so this is a girl, she's running around the circle. What was her average speed? Okay, so we're going to use the average speed formula and plug some values in and see what we get. So it says that average speed is the distance over time. Okay, so the distance is how much, uh, how much distance this girl travels around the circle. Okay, and they don't give us the distance, but we do know that the distance around the circle is the circumference, and we know that circumference is pi times diameter. Okay, so this we know from geometry that circumference is pi times diameter, and circumference is the distance around the circle. And the time is given. The time is 63.7 seconds. I'll write the units at the end. Okay, so this is just plugging in numbers. Uh, pi is 3.14. The diameter of the circle is 40, 40 meters. And the time is 63.7 seconds. And let's see what this is on the calculator. Okay, so we have 3.14 times 40 okay and then I'm gonna get that number and divided by 63.7 oops
and it's going to give me 1.97. So that's the answer. So 1.97. Um, and the units of velocity are meters per second. Okay, so this is the average speed for the girl if she's going around this circle. This is her average speed. Okay, watch my next video and I will answer questions B, C, and D. Alright, thanks for watching.